2e a family trip a trip is when you go visit a place for fun or for another reason vocabulary look at the adjectives in the box these are adjectives adjectives like big small cold hot which of them have a positive meaning positive meaning a good meaning and which have a negative meaning negative a bad meaning listen and check your answers interesting this book is very interesting i want to finish it interesting has a good meaning when something is interesting it attracts the attention awful the garbage smells awful this has a bad meaning awful means very bad amazing smartphones can do amazing things this has a good meaning amazing so great cool i like my friend adam he is so cool and this is a good thing he is great fantastic the food looks fantastic that is good the food looks great weird it's weird ali isn't at school today ali is absent that is weird that's bad that's unusual he's always here exciting this game is exciting i love it that's a good thing exciting i can't stop playing it or i can't wait to play it frightening i had a frightening dream that's bad frightening scary frightening brilliant our trip to paris was brilliant that's good it was great horrible the weather is horrible today it's very bad it's awful horrible wonderful i had a wonderful dream and that's good i had a fantastic dream notice that we can use exciting amazing interesting all the same way and we can use all the negative adjectives the same way the weather is horrible the weather is awful but we can't use weird weird has a different meaning frightening also has a different meaning listen listen to tim talking to his friend adam on the phone about a trip to a cave this is tim with his family inside a cave a cave is a natural hole in the side of a cliff or a hill and answer the questions did tim enjoy the journey there and back the journey there and back means the ride going to the cave and back from the cave did he enjoy the visit to the cave did he actually like it inside the cave when you visit you spend some time in a place listen again and choose the correct pictures a or b what time did tim's family leave for the trip leave go out from their house at six o'clock or at 6 30 in the morning how did tim and his family explore the cave move inside the cave to see things inside did they walk around or did they go in a boat 
What happened in the cave? Tim's father fell in the water? Or Tim fell in the water? Fell is the past to fall. 4. What time did Tim and his family get home? 20. What is 20? You subtract 12 from 20 and you get 8. So 20 equals 8 p.m. 21 is 9 p.m. Now listen. Hello. Hi, Adam. Hi, Tim. How are you? I'm a bit tired. Why is that? I went on a trip to Lumsden Cave with my family today. Really? Yeah. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning. We left at half past 6 from my house. Why so early? Well, it was a long trip by car. It was quite exciting in the beginning, but soon we all got bored. What was the cave like? It was quite interesting and the guide showed us some amazing things. I went to a cave with my parents once, but I didn't really enjoy it. We walked around and it was quite slippery. Oh, we didn't walk. We went around in boats. So there was water in the cave. That's exciting. Did you swim? It was a very hot day. It was hot outside the cave, but it was cold in the cave. And the water was freezing. Anyway, they told us that it was dangerous to swim there. Too bad. Not very exciting. Actually, something exciting did happen. My dad fell in the water. No. Yeah, he tried to stand up in the boat and... Splash! What else did you do? Nothing much. We had our lunch and went home. Three hours in the car again. Awful. What time did you get home? About an hour ago. What? So late? It's nine o'clock. Now I see why you're so tired. Now please finish answering the questions. If you need to listen to the recording again, please do that. Take your time. Only continue this video if you want to check your answers. Hello. Hi, Adam. Hi, Tim. How are you? I'm a bit tired. Why is that? I went on a trip to Lumsden Cave with my family today. Really? Yeah. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning. We left at half past 6 from my house. Why so early? Well, it was a long trip by car. It was quite exciting in the beginning, but soon we all got bored. What was the cave like? It was quite interesting and the guide showed us some amazing things. A bit tired, a little tired. When you are tired, you have no energy to do anything. Soon, short time after that. Bored, not interested. Guide is a person whose job is to show you around. So, did Tim enjoy the journey, the ride, going to the cave and back from the cave? No. Soon he got bored. Not fun. Did he actually like it in the cave? Yes. He saw some amazing things. What time did he leave from home? He left. Left is the past to leave. At half past six. That's 6.30. He got up at six, but he left at half past six. I went to a cave with my parents once, but I didn't really enjoy it. We walked around and it was quite slippery. Oh, we didn't walk. We went around in boats. So there was water in the cave. That's exciting. Did you swim? It was a very hot day. It was hot outside the cave, but it was cold in the cave. And the water was freezing. Anyway, they told us that it was dangerous to swim there. Too bad. Not very exciting. It was slippery. When the floor is slippery, it could easily make you fall. The water was freezing. The water was very cold. So how did Tim and his family explore the cave? They went around in boats. Adam went walking with his family. But well, that's Adam, not Tim. Actually, something exciting did happen. 
My dad fell in the water. No. Yeah, he tried to stand up in the boat and... Splash! What else did you do? Nothing much. We had our lunch and went home. Three hours in the car again. Awful. What time did you get home? About an hour ago. What? So late? It's nine o'clock. Now I see why you're so tired. Something exciting did happen. This sentence is not negative and it is not a question. Why are we using did? We could say something exciting happened and that would be correct. Why are we using did? We are using it to emphasize that something exciting actually and truly happened. Who fell in the water? That's Tim's dad, not Tim himself. What time did they get back home? At 8 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock now, but he got home an hour ago. Speak and write. Read the email and answer the questions below. Who is writing the email and to whom? To whom means to which person. The one who wrote this is Sammy. Sammy is the writer and he wrote it to Hamza. What's the difference between who and whom? <coughs> who is when you ask about the subject. Whom is when you ask about the object. I could ask, to whom did Sammy write the email? And that would be correct. When did Sammy and his family go on a trip? Where did they go? How did they get there? How long did it take? How long, how much time did it take? Did they need to get there? To get there, to arrive. What time did they arrive? Arrive, get there, the same thing. What did they do there? Did Sammy have a good time? Now read the email. Dear Hamza, how are things? How are you? How do you do? I hope, I wish, you are well. You are in good health. I went on a family trip last Friday and I had a fantastic time. I had a great time. So Sammy went on the trip last Friday and he had a fantastic time. This answers question 8. We went by bus to the city and visited the science museum. When you visit, you spend some time in a place. Science museum is a building in which you can see scientific objects. Like in the picture, he is in the museum. This answers question 4. He got there by bus and he visited the science museum. We arrived there at about 10.30. That's the time they arrived. It took. The past of it takes. It takes the time you need. Two hours to get there because of the traffic. The reason was the traffic, the number of cars on the road. But we didn't mind. We had no problem with the traffic. It was okay. So they needed two hours. We spent all day. Spent is the pass of spent. It's when you make time pass. All day at the museum and we saw old and new inventions, creations, like the telephone, and fossils of dinosaurs, fossils, remains, like bones, from dinosaurs, like what you see in the picture. We even watched a brilliant 3D documentary, brilliant, great. A documentary is a movie that gives you information about something. My favorite place though, though means despite of everything else. Forget about the dinosaurs and the documentary. 
my favorite place was the experiment room, a room in which you can do scientific tests. We could do, could is not the past of do. Could means it is possible for us to do our own experiments, to do the scientific tests ourselves. It was so cool, it was great. I think it was the best family trip ever in my life. Speak to you soon, Sammy. What did they do there? A lot. He watched a documentary, visited the experiment room, and saw fossils, etc. Now, think about a family trip. Let's say that we visited the art gallery, a place where you can see works of art, paintings. Look at the questions in the speech bubble and make some notes. Write the answers in your notebook. Then talk in pairs. When did you go on the trip? Last week. Where did you go? To the art gallery. How did you get there? How did you arrive? By bus. What time did you arrive? Five o'clock. How long did you stay there? We stayed for two hours. What did you do there? We saw a lot of beautiful paintings. What time did you leave or get home? At about eight o'clock. Did you have a good time? Yes, we had a great time. Linking words. Look. We went to the city. We visited the museum. We have two sentences, right? Now we will use a linking word to make them one. We use and. And is a linking word. It is used to connect two sentences with similar ideas. All my friends had a good time. I didn't have a good time. Look, the ideas here are not the same. They are opposites. We can't use and. We use but. But I didn't. Another example. It's snowing today. But I don't feel cold. I ate a sandwich. I was really hungry. This is the reason why I ate a sandwich. To connect the two sentences, I use because. I ate a sandwich because I was really hungry. Look, this sentence is similar to this. I ate a sandwich, I was really hungry, but this time we put the reason first. We can't use because, I was really hungry, because I ate a sandwich, that's not correct. We use so, I was really hungry, so I ate a sandwich. Another example, this is the reason. I was very tired. We were tired. So we went home. Now complete with and, but, so, or because. We didn't visit the Egyptian room at the museum. Why? This is the reason. It was closed. The reason comes last. We use because it was closed. My friends wanted to buy some souvenirs. Souvenirs, gifts to remind you of your visit. We went to the souvenir shop. Why did you go to the souvenir shop? This is the reason. The reason is first. We use so. Tina bought chopsticks. These are chopsticks. She doesn't know how to use them, but she doesn't know. The journey took two hours. 
The weather was terrible. This is the reason. The weather was terrible because you can use and and that will also be correct. We spent the day on the beach. This is the beach. Then had lunch at a local restaurant. Local restaurant, not international. We connect using and. The place was horrible. We didn't stay long. This is the reason. Why did you leave? Because the place was horrible. The place was horrible, so we didn't stay long. We can start with this. We didn't stay long because the place was horrible. Now it is your turn to write your email to your friend, telling him or her about the family trip. Use your notes from activity 3B. This is activity 3B. Use your answers from here. When you write the email, don't forget to start with dear, hello, hi, and then your friend's first name, like here. Dear Hamza, hello Hamza, hi Hamza. Use a set phrase like how are you, you can use how are you, I hope you are well, how are things, I'm writing to tell you about. To end with a set word or phrase and your first name under this. Speak to you soon and then your name, Mu'tasim. Yours, Mu'tasim. Bye for now, Mu'tasim. Speak to you soon. Best wishes and then your name. Finally, do not write very short sentences. Join your sentences with and, because, but, so. First, go to page 128 and complete the plan. 127. Use an appropriate greeting, suitable greeting like hi, hello. We will use dear, dear Tom. Say why you are writing. I went on a family trip last week to the art gallery in the city center. And then answer these questions using the answers from here. Finally, it's time to sign off. Close with an appropriate phrase. We will use bye for now. And then don't forget to write your name under this. Let's say that my name is Steve and here is the email. Dear Tom, how are things? I hope you are well. I went on a family trip last week and I had a great time. We went to the art gallery in the city center. We went by bus. We arrived at the art gallery at 5 o'clock and we stayed there for two hours. I saw a lot of beautiful paintings. It was amazing. At about 8 o'clock, we got back home. It was a really cool family trip. Bye for now. Steve Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.